my my speech uh, is about how to argue on the internet, which is one of the um, I think the people are afraid to argue on the internet, particularly about Filipino cinema, because it is a um, it is a dangerous place. I, people think it is a place where you are to be attacked. Uh, as somebody who shares opinions on the internet about our cinema, uh, it gets complicated. Uh, I have been I spend a lot of my time arguing on the internet with people who believe that what I'm saying is wrong or offensive. Uh, I've had I've been I've actually had death threats. I've had people call me biased. I've had people say that I've been paid. Uh, and, um, and I argue. And that's not what you're supposed to do. Because one of the cardinal rules of the internet is don't feed the trolls. The uh, absolute logic of the internet is that there are just certain people who like to spend their time on their bridges uh, in the dark, yelling at things that they're angry about, trying to get a rise out of you. I break this rule all the time. Here's just a small sampling of the uh, stuff that I get. This isn't, um, this isn't a good sampling anymore because this is recent. The worst stuff really happened when back in 2007 to 2011 when nobody knew who I was and I was just some cocky upstart that was saying bad things about Vic Soto. Um, top left, you'll see um, that account was suspended. So I, I'm just showing you how I retweeted it. it that, Twitter account was started specifically for its very. That was its very first tweet. Uh, bakla. That was the the that was the summation of his argument. Him or her, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, top right, that's a classic like uh, bayarang writer. Yan. It's like they're all paying. I wish, I wish I was paid to <laughs> give my opinions like that. Um, the one on the bottom left is really one of the most, uh, wait, bo yeah, one of the weirdest, weirdest things. Like that guy was saying that quality doesn't make us happy. Uh, <laughs> it's um, really, really puzzling. And um, <laughs> and on the bottom, uh, on the very bottom, that's a comment on Click the City saying that um, siguro kapamilya siya, uh, <laughs> which is. Hilarious because I've been told that I'm persona non grata around Star Cinema. Um, but that gets to a very important point. These people are not trolls, or at least uh, I don't consider them trolls. It's so easy to dismiss people as trolls, but um, there's something really weird about Filipino cinema and the environment that surrounds it and the way we talk about it. We don't talk about our movies, we never talk about content, we never talk about art. We never talk about the technical aspects. We, because at some point, we got tricked. We got tricked into picking a side. And most of the conversation is about picking a side. Look at this. Team Kapamilya Tayo. Number one, Tayo Kapuso. This is, this is what the conversation in our cinema has become. It's about picking sides. It's about, so it isn't about what you honestly think about a piece of art. It isn't what you think about a movie. It's about your allegiance. So people who have a different opinion from you are, are not just people who have a different opinion. They're the enemy. Yan, kapuso yan. So obviously biased yan. There is no room in the discussion now to just say, uh, maybe this, pe this person has a different experience from me and has a different opinion. So when I am confronted with all of these people who say that I am a terrible person for not liking the new Alda movie, um, <laughs> I, I try to change the conversation. This is because what, what, has been, what has been created through this particular discussion on our cinema is this idea, it's a dehumanizing process. We do not see the person on the other side. We do not see a person with thoughts and opinions and feelings about our cinema. We see the enemy. We see somebody who is unreasonable. 
So what you end up do, so the real approach, I think, to trying to change our cinema without actually making films, because that's a whole other thing. If you're just a fan of cinema and you want to try to change cinema, it's about trying to change the conversation. And you do this basically by asking questions. Uh, if you saw earlier that guy who said I was bakla, uh, <laughs> the thing I did was, the very first thing I did was ask him, so, kung bakla nga ako, ano ngayon? And then I asked, takot ka ba sa bakla? Or, um, and I asked, yeah, all sorts of like, parang galit ka eh, what's wrong? Um, what people don't expect in these discussions, in these conversations on the internet, is to have another person that's actually curious about them. Because that's not how we talk on the internet. We yell at each other. It's always reactionary. And to change the conversation, you just have to be curious. And on the other side is a human being who's suddenly like, oh, wait, this person is curious about me? I've never had that before. And what happened in that conversation before the account was suspended for being generally terrible is I actually got to ask them, ask that person, what it is that he or she liked about the movie that we were talking about. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's so, the thing about the internet is that it's so easy to dismiss opinions that aren't yours. It, it is this amazing, the internet is amazing. It's this democratized space where anybody can say anything. But most people, because, because it's so large, they end up just looking for the same opinions. They end up in these little communities that are very myopic, that only talk, that only espouse a certain kind of thinking. And that's really limiting. It's really limiting because it's about, it becomes about, you know, it's us. It's us versus them. And there's, that's a problem. That's a problem because there's a versus there. An argument isn't actually about who wins or loses. The argument is the point in itself. Just getting that conversation out there is the most important thing. Because art is not a competition. People, um, if you kept track of the MMFF, there was a lot of weird controversy, mostly about which movie made more money, the Vice Ganda movie or the Aldab movie. And it's ridiculous that people care about that because they don't see any of that money go to them, but because they are Kapamilya, because they are Kapuso, because they are Aldab Nation fans, because they're Jadeen, it becomes a personal thing. But we all want the same thing, eh? We have to change the conversation. We have to change the conversation. To change cinema is to really just to change the conversation. It, it, isn't about, it isn't about who is better. It's about just understanding that we all have feelings about art. The reason I engage with all the quote-unquote trolls is because I, I acknowledge that my experience is limited and that there are things that I don't know. People, pe these people are passionate about these things, and that's good because the worst thing, the worst thing, the, what makes art stagnant is apathy. So you should always engage with people who are passionate, even if you think they're being unreasonable. You just have to be the reasonable one. You have to be the person that goes out and says, hey, there's a human being on the other side of this internet rift. And we can talk. We can talk about our cinema. Because in the end, we all want the same thing. Regardless of where you are, regardless of what you're a fan of, you all want the same thing. Better art. We just want better movies. We want better music. We want better TV shows. We want better food. We want better government. We want better everything. But we aren't going to get there if it's, if it's us versus them. We need to talk to each other like reasonable people and try to bring things out. And I can prove to you that this works because 
because of General Luna, a film that basically found its success through the conversation. People just kept talking about it, whether it was positive or negative, people talked about it, and it was like, oh yeah, yeah, there's something good here. And it wasn't about us versus them, it wasn't about Alda versus JD, it wasn't about Capamilia versus Capuso. It was about, hey, was this a film any good? Was this film historically accurate? Was this film Marxist? Was it elitist? It doesn't matter what was being said. What, what matters is how it was being said. We were having conversations on the internet about art, and that's incredible. So the thing is, this isn't about feeding the trolls. The whole thing is really about leaving them into the light. Um, because if we just leave them alone, if we just ignore everybody, dismiss them, leave them under those bridges, then we're never going to cross those bridges. We're never going to get anywhere. What we need to do is to start talking. And hopefully, we can bring it all out into the daylight and inspire change through our conversation. Thank you.